All right. So first off, could you just tell me a little bit about how you got involved with the 8x8 rally? So a couple of weeks back, Greg Tanaka had a like a simulated press conference or yeah, the press conference um, actually with the beginning journalism class that, that I'm in. And one of the things that, that he talked about um, was this you know 8x8 rally and initiative that I found to be quite interesting. So I looked at it further, uh, you know, just doing a quick Google search and, um, and hearing from others who, had, who were already signed up to volunteer. And it, it seemed um, like it would be a good opportunity to be able to advocate and, and and help to invoke change regarding combating hate in, in the against the API community. Yeah, so I went to a Stop Asian Hate rally back in late March, and um, I gave like a small speech there because I just wanted to express some of my emotions towards um, a lot of hate crimes going on. And Greg Tanaka, who was also at that same rally, reached out to me. Well, actually, he said reached out to me because he goes to Pali and asked if I wanted to get involved with another Stop Asian Hate rally. I've heard um, just based off the website, like the idea and like the purpose of the 8x8 rally is to like get people to spread the Asian vote and like get people registered. Um, what do you think is the main like purpose of this? Is it to like increase um, like the number of votes or is it to like enact certain policies for like um, like protecting against Asian American hate? I think the biggest idea is just having more voting awareness. And I think one of the main reasons why that is true is because um, specifically in like with Asian Americans, there's a very low voting percentage as opposed to like the amount of people actually living in America. And I think one of the biggest messages is that, you know, Asian Americans can also have a voice in politics and don't have to like, and then can actually like be involved in things like rallies and political, um, like in politics in general. And I think that's just one of the main focuses um, for this rally, mainly for what my job is, isn't really registering people to vote because I know it's only for people who are, I think 17 to 18, but it's mainly just also getting out awareness in general that Asian Americans can be heard. And if it's not through voting, it can be through rallies, it can be through social media, or it can be through just like speaking with other people that you know. And what do you hope um, is going to be achieved through like the rally? What do you hope would happen after the rally? Landmark change cannot be achieved overnight. Uh, what I what I do think can happen is that um, you know, through the collective actions of, of many individuals um, at this point in in time, you know, not just localized to the Palo Alto rally, but other rallies across the United States and and um, other methods of, of advocacy present the the United States um, with a essentially. Um, not utilizing, um, you know, ignorance as its main strategy of dealing um, with its um, many problems of, of systemic racism against the, the AAPI community. Uh, you know, I, I think that here in, in the United States for a long time, it's, it's kind of been this attitude in, in government of, well, if it doesn't affect the people in, in government personally, then it must not affect the entirety of the United States and, and that could not be further from from the truth. This is similar to to what I said earlier, uh, the AAPI community is is extraordinarily uh, disproportionately underrepresented in law making bodies and I think um, that that is a really big problem um, because when you have a group of uh, individuals or representatives who don't represent what the United States truly is and who it's it's composed of. Progress cannot be made through the actions of you know, these individual rallies, advocacy and, and talking to current lawmakers and, and that sort of thing that the United States at the local state and, and federal level can really rethink the way it, it deals with racism in, in the United States against the with racism in, in the United States against the AAPI community and, and getting more people to vote as well.